happy set me up Sunday to you. You're watching on a Sunday. This is actually Good Friday. And I was just talking on Instagram about how I woke up this morning. I just felt really what we call in our house low vibes. Uh, Tim and I refer to it as low vibes because if we call each other during the week, you can tell by someone's voice and the way they're speaking how they're feeling. At least you can when you get to know them. And so if I call Tim on his lunch break and he sounds really um, like quieter than normal, you can just feel the energy in his voice. Well, anyway, I woke up today and everything everyone did was frustrating me. No one could do anything right. And I recognize that that's on me, that it's no one else's responsibility to change my mood, that that is my responsibility. And so I always just vocalize that uh, I, for whatever reason, am, am feeling out of sorts. And I couldn't really pinpoint it, although over the last couple of hours, we did work out that what it was, was that I just feel like, um, particularly as we go into school holidays, that I know I'm going to be picking up more after people. I'm having to remember lots of different things for different people. And this morning, I was just feeling like it would be really nice if someone could do that for me. And uh, recognizing why we're feeling that way and being able to communicate it is really important. But I take responsibility for the fact that only I can change my mood. So I went out and did mowing for an hour and a half, felt so much better afterwards, had a shower. I'm now in uh, what is technically my pajamas and Tim and Cruz have gone for a drive together. I think they said it's a three hour round trip. They've gone to pick something up that Tim wanted to get. And so Tim said, stay home, uh, relax, watch TV, just spend some time for you recharging. And I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to do something extra. And that is that after every show, which I think is 20 to 30 minutes long, I am going to hop up and I'm going to do 15 minutes on something in the house because that's going to help me feel better as well. I know that in myself, if I spend time on the house, I'm glad that I did it and I feel better for it. So I'm going to put a show on. After the first show, it's time for laundry. And then I'm starting my April space. March was the lounge. April, my attention is on the spare room. The goal for the end of April is that there is nothing left in the spare room that hasn't been worked through. I want nothing left that has to be on my to-do list that's in the spare room. I only want to keep things that are either functional so they are used for one purpose or another, or they bring our family joy add happiness to the house, whatever it is. If they're just stored away, I don't really love it. They're not being used. Then I'm moving those sorts of things out of the house. And April is spare room month. So we're going to start that together. And I'm going to go between relaxing, watching a show and then doing something in the house.
Day one of sorting through the spare room is just going to be having a look at what the spare room is like right now before I do anything to it. And then throughout April, I am going to work on uh, tidying this space, getting everything sorted properly. And by the end of April, I plan to have nothing left to do in here. So let's start with a recap of where the room is at right now. Okay, so here's where we're at. I've just pulled the cover off the bed and I'm going to change these European cushion covers just to be more plain. I was deciding whether I was going to keep these Europeans and incorporate like a yellow or olive cushion or if I was going to keep these pillowcases and incorporate one of those colors in the European cushion. So I'll figure that out this month. Um, but I took the cover off to be washed and as you know I've shared this in a YouTube video before I store all our inserts on the spare room bed to save storage space so they're here you can see there's more than one and that's why this, the guest room always looks fluffy and we just go through and prepare it if guests are coming over but otherwise it's a way to store the inserts without having to use storage space so that's number one getting the bed sorted you can see here I have these piles of letters so this is a job for April these are all the letters that my mum writes to the boys every Wednesday and this is Cruiser's pile I want to get them scanned into a book for the boys to keep so I've got to sort that out otherwise on this side of the room I'll leave these magazines these are all different magazines um, that I have featured in and I leave them next to the guest bed so they can be out and um, I can enjoy them and when people come over it's something for them to read on the inside of this drawer there is nothing so nothing to sort there and then on this one is just newspaper articles uh, that have been written either about Leanne Baker Daly or about the bushfires those sorts of things so just a bit of reading on this side so not a lot to do here that is a job that I need to do these are Easter things ready for tomorrow so we got the boys pajamas <laughs> Look, he's come to join us. We got um, pajamas for the boys. So tonight we will give them these and a little treat. We do not do Easter baskets anymore or bring anything really extra into the house. This is their winter pajamas for the year. And then we'll get them something like a hot chocolate treat or a little treat to have after dinner tonight for Easter. And then these are for the boys. So the white one is for Lacey. The, um, did I say the dogs or did I say the boys? <laughs> These are for Lacey and Teddy, the dogs, and they are dog Easter bunnies. So they're just waiting here tomorrow. That will all be gone because it is Easter tomorrow. I've got to sort out these cords. So I want to find a really good solution for cords. Uh, so that's there while I figure that out. This is our sewing kit, believe it or not. That's all we've got. So I need to find a better solution for that. And now that I don't have the office, just thinking about where I'm going to put those things. This is the side of the room that's going to take me the most amount of time. So I've just bought this, that ice latte in. But this drawer is full of things that need attention. Old hard drives from computers that broke down that I wanted to get computer people to put onto an online thing for me. This is when I used to do drum majorettes. Uh, from year two when I was in year two and I want to put that onto online and then I have these things like um, a whole heap of uh, photo shoots that are on discs from when photographers used to give them to you like that so I want to get them onto the cloud a uh, couple of cords so I'm looking at finding a better cord solution so that's in here and then this bottom one is all my tax returns so that's how I've been keeping them I obviously need to find a better solution so that's this side that's just an avocado that belongs to Hunter. Uh, the Easter things, I think we went through. And then on this side, I can't show you above it because this is where the boys' school uniforms hang up there. But um, VR headsets probably can find a better way to do it. Uh, another pile of letters from mum to one of the boys. And then this is just things that I need to go through and sort out. So some of them quick, some of them a bit longer. These things are listed on eBay, so still need to be on there. Um, and these move through from the office. So when I decluttered the office, these are things, uh, sorry, the lounge room. These are things that came through from the lounge that needed to be sorted. And I put them into here because uh, this is the next room that I'm doing. And uh, they are things that I need to work through one at a time. So that is April's job. This has just fallen down. Uh, love this big bag. And this this shirt I bought a little while ago for when we do the happy draw video I wanted our little guy to wear this because it's so on brand <laughs> so uh, yeah that's just hanging there ready for when we do that video shoot I don't know why the 
flash is turned on. But anyway, so I'm starting with washing that, deciding on the pillowcases. These, this side is done completely, so I don't need to worry about that. So April's job is just this little set of drawers and this pile that I've moved through from the office that needs to be sorted. And uh, yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad a job. These live under Cruz's bed, so they just need to put back there. That's where we are starting from. Without me touching anything, that is our guest spare room. And the reason it's not terrible is because I actually went through and did the spare room a little while ago. Uh, and then these things are what I need to give attention to this month. So I put them here on purpose. And then I'm going to do under this bed, which I'll show you another time. So under this bed, it's all storage. There's The bed is full of storage things under there. So I'm going to make my way through that space as well.